Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade, and today we're going to be taking a look at kind of an oddball pattern. It doesn't set up very often, but it's a megaphone pattern uh, right off of the highs here. Now, I'm entering in a little bit conservatively. I'm quite a ways away. And so right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place uh, my entry right now just to start off is at 1175.3 uh, to the downside here on the Russell. Now, because of where I'm entering a little bit late, my stop is going to have to go above these highs up here, and I really don't have an option to tighten that up until we start actually falling off and seeing this start to respect. Uh, once we start, well, that might happen actually sooner than I thought, um, getting a really big drop down here. Now, for our targets, our targets are going to be a test right back down to the lows here. Oop. Oop, let me do that. There we go. Make that red. A test back on the opposite side of the megaphone pattern right back down here. Now, when we get back to the lows, we're going to look for the exact same thing. Sell the highs, buy the lows, buy a failure right back up, and see if we can get back up to these highs for a really big long trade if we can start going out that way. Uh, but first things first, we've already had a really big fall off, so that was actually kind of what I was looking for. Uh, let me get my stop just above here instead. So our, our stop is a little bit nice, uh, nice and close here. First target's going to be back down to these lows of consolidation. You can see we kind of consolidated through here and, and just kind of had a difficult time. Uh, so I want to make sure to get a little bit out ahead of that level there. So a gun for 71.5 will be one target, and <laughs> we might just get that filled on this move down, but uh, 71.5 is the first target. Second target, uh, right now the low of the channels down here. Figure put that forward, a couple candles will be down there somewhere uh, at around 70. So uh, that's kind of where I'm looking at right now. We'll see once we start getting a little bit more continuation here. Now this move is extreme. It, I mean, the Russell is just absolutely tanking off of these highs here. And so, I mean, this may be a pretty quick trade. Normally, I, I was kind of expecting this trade to take, you know, 30, 40, 50 minutes. With tomorrow being a holiday, you're just kind of expecting today to be a little bit slower, and we're getting a huge reaction. Uh, so, again, you know, just kind of matching those highs up through here. We saw that initial rejection. You could have shorted right there, but I always think entering right off the bat's a little bit more aggressive. I want to see a little bit more continuation. And we had that little kind of drop back down again where the buyers failed to go up. And so you expect them to fail the opposite side. I wasn't expecting them to fail like that. but uh, So because they failed so hard, our stop actually, we can drop that down a little bit more to 76.5. So really our risk on this one is only 12 ticks. Uh, now had I known that they were going to tank like that, I would have put more than two contracts on. But I was working with our initial stop, which was you know like 26, 27 ticks. Uh, so right now the risk reward is beautiful on the trade. But from our entry to our first target, looking at 38 ticks. And then from our entry to the second target, this one kind of floats. We'll just say 1170 to make it easier right now uh, is going to be about 53 ticks. So now the reason I say it floats is because if this takes a while to get down there, the low continuously moves lower and lower and lower. So I'm going to have to move my target down the closer and closer we get until we can finally tag those areas. So we're in the trade right now. We're short at 1175.3, two contracts. Uh, stop is up at 76.5. First target at 71.5. Second target down at 70. We'll be back in a little bit. See if they can drop even harder and hit those targets down below. All right, we're coming in with even more aggression to the downside again. Just a huge slide off of the highs here. Uh, so I got my first target filled right here at 71.5. Let me adjust my stop here. One, uh, one contract stop. Now I lowered my stop a little bit just because we had this little bit of a bounce here. And I'm looking at that as more of just kind of a little pullback and then a drop back down again. So push down, pull back, and then drop back down. So my stop is right above that little swing high there. It is aggressive. Uh, technically, we really don't have a good swing high. It's just been all one parabolic move to the downside, uh, which makes me even uh, more uh, ap apt to really move my stop down again because, you know, if it falls really hard like that, you kind of expect it to rise really hard like that too. So, again, I'm, ex I'm still expecting a lower low below 70 half, but with the aggression that we've seen so far, there's no real sense of, of not playing it a little bit safer and getting our stop a little bit closer here at 73.4. So if it does come back and stop us out, uh, we'll be looking at a 19 tick runner on that one. Now, again, we're just kind of moving our target here to go along with what we're seeing with these bottoms. And really all I'm doing is just drawing a line and saying, okay, well, you know, that's just ahead of it right there. If we make another candle, well, it'll be a little bit lower, maybe one tick down, you get the idea. Uh, so we're falling down right here, got the first target filled at 71.5, locked in 38 ticks, looking for continuation to the next one at 70.1 and see if we and hit that 53 tick target next. All right. Oh, holy cow. Uh, <laughs> just had a huge drop lower. Let me cancel my stop here. Um, 
the Russell just went kind of crazy there for a second. I I would have moved my well. I guess our target got taken out right where we wanted to be. I got filled at 1170 here, uh, which I believe was what we were looking for. Yeah, 1170 at 53. So that's actually a pretty good guess. Uh, now at 53 ticks, you know, it's definitely not a bad move. You saw how fast that moved. It was, I mean, it was instant. Now keep in mind, if this is going to be a true megaphone pattern, we're back at the lows, and we're going to expect the exact same thing that we saw up here. Maybe see it bounce a couple times because this is a really big drop, but eventually I'm expecting it just to fail right back up to the upside. So looking for a converse trade right back up, but for now, that's going to be the trade for today. We locked in 38 and 53. That gives us 91 ticks on the trade, 910 bucks on that one. Uh, only two contracts. Again, if I would have known it was falling that quick, I would have I would have added more, uh, but it just kind of it fell out of bed and just absolutely collapsed. But that's going to be the trade, 910 bucks on the trade. Not too long of one. I mean, we got in about 1140. It's coming on 12:30 now, so not. I mean, it's going on about an hour, but still not too bad. Uh, anyway, that'll be the trade for today. If you have questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. Don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com. And as always, we'll catch you next time.